Hi, my name is Adela Diamputri Binti Ramdiantoro. My student ID is 1945154. Today, I'll be presenting about safety plan development for my business, which is Dance Studio Company. This is the content overview of the presentation today. The first one is the introduction to clean, safe and secure environment at workplace. Second, safety plan development which consists of six main divisions. A. Risk and Hazard Identification B. OSHA C. Safety Programs and Processes D. Employee Education E. Enforcing and Evaluation of Safety Plan F. Preparations and precautions of inevitable injuries. The third one is the conclusion and final references for the sources I use to create my content today. A clean, safe, and secure environment at the workplace is an environment that is free from any danger, hazards, and risks. Both employees and employers are responsible to take safety measures to prevent the occurrence of accidental risks at workplace according to NUNS 2011. The workplace should be oblique under legislative compliance to protect individuals at the workplace from any harm or danger. For instance, a clean environment is a place that is pure, unpolluted, and not contaminated by any harmful or filth substances. A safe and secure environment is illustrated by fulfilling the needs of security, either free from any possible threat, unintended accidents, and mishaps. Now moving on to the main text, which is safety plan development. In Dance Studio Company, we have developed many plans and many divisions of the actual safety plan development. The first part of the division is the risk and hazard identification. There are a lot of hazards and risks that need to be identified as accidents and injuries occur as unforeseen events that arise in the workplace that can cause lamentable injuries and damages. Occupational risks are the probability that an individual might endure health effects if constant exposure to hazards in the workplace. Now, in every workplace, risks and hazards are possible to arise at any given moment and we do not expect it. It needs to be addressed to prevent future incidents or accidents from happening. To avoid this accidents or incidents from occurring, we can carry out risk analysis methodologies such as interviewing other employees, job safety analysis, curating checklists, direct observation, and analyzing previous risk assessment data will help to identify possible In hazards. In that studio company, the identified risk and hazard are as follows. Divided into three main divisions, the first one is safety risk, which is slips and trips due to wet or slippery dance floor, equipment malfunction, sharp objects hazard resulting in injuries, falling objects by suspended items, hair or shirt entanglement by a fan, and an inevitable injuries. The second division is emergencies such as theft, robbery, choking, burning, fire hazards, electrocution or electric shock, fracture, bleeding, faint or death. Next is health risks such as pregnancy, contagious diseases such as COVID-19, physical and emotional injuries. The above mentioned are the risk and hazard identified, which is possible to cause harm either on employees, employers, or outsiders within any given moment. So in order to avoid these risks and hazards from happening, we have developed a few safety plan to address these issues to prevent it from happening in the future. 
So the next part will be the OSHA, which is Industry Compliance Identification. In Dam Studio Company, compliance applies to the Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994 OSHA. The objective of OSHA is to ensure the security, safety, and welfare of employees at work. The existence of OSHA acts as a means for a legislative system based on rules and regulation. Complying with OSHA protects workers and employees from any possible hazards. The application of OSHA at Dance Studio Company is divided into two main elements, which are duties of an employer and employees in the workplace. So the first one, which is duties of the employers, consists of A. Providing and persistent safety plan and system of work in the workplace. B. Construct arrangements for a safe utilization, operation, handling, storage and transportation of items and substances. C. Provisions of information instruction, training, and supervision to ensure the safety and health of employees in the workplace. D. Supervision for maintenance of working environment for facilities and welfare of employees. The employers should consider a few elements in the workplace such as A. Level of severity of risk that occur high state of awareness and knowledge of hazard and the scheme of eliminating the risk, availability and appropriate methods to eliminate or mitigate the risk, and D, cost of eliminating the risk. Now, the mention above is the responsibilities of an employer to implement in the workplace. Next is the duties of employees, which is A, Cooperate or amalgamate with others. B. Being aware to reason concern of safety of self and others. And C. Obligating with regulations on OSH and company policy. Any employer or employee should not act on their own accord but oblig and obey with the OSHA which is stated on the written policy of Dan Studio Company. Now moving on to the next part is the safety programs and processes. In Dan Studio Company, control measures are designed in three main elements which are the first prevention method, protection method and mitigation method either to fully eliminate the risk or reduce the probability of the risk from occurring in the future. Safety programs are implemented in Dance Studio Company for a guided outline in presence of any incident or mishap for employees or individuals at risk. Emergency Action Plan is developed as the main procedure for safety programs. In this, in this plan, there are three elements which are Emergency Management Checklist, Business Continuity Plan for Pandemic, and the First Aid Emergency Plan. Predominantly, developing an emergency management checklist is the main preparation for hazard organization. Table below is the example of Emergency Management Plan Checklist. Next, General First Aid Plan. So the first plan is placing an educate amount of first aid boxes across the premise to a noticeable and reachable locations in times of accidents. B. Constantly replacing and fulfilling the items needed in the first aid box to ensure effectiveness of using it. C. Every employee and employer should know how to utilize or use the first aid kit efficiently in times of any incident or mishap. Proceeding with the next one is the business continuity plan in times of pandemic. 
The procedure applied is first, halting or stopping physical dance classes and shutting down the dance studio. Switching from physical dance classes or workplace to an online-based dance classes and work from home implementation to prevent the contagious virus from infecting individuals at risk. Moving on to the second main plan is the electrical safety plan. Now in dance studio company, we have a lot of presence of electrical appliances such as speakers, microphones, DJ sets, cables and etc. Incidents or mishaps such as burns, electrocution and electric shot might occur in the future if you don't take precarious measures. The safety plan is as follows. The first one is putting up warning signs at areas that are heavily used with electric cables and wires. Next, avoid putting water bottles or liquid near electric cables during a dance class. Next, unplugging the appliances after each use to prevent any electrical waste. Last, preventing an outlet overloaded by reducing the number of cables used in the same area. Now, proceeding to the next part is probably the most important plan in the safety development plan in Dan Studio Company. So the next part is the fire prevention plan. If an individual in the workplace discovers a fire or hears a fire alarm, the plan is as follows. First, evacuate the fire area instantly. Next, activate the fire alarm and or alert other individuals at risk. If it is safe to do so, optional, assist anyone in prompt or immediate danger. Next, Shut all the doors to confine the fire and use designated exit stairwells to leave the building quickly and safely. If designated with fire emergency duties with either fire warden or responsible employees, carry out pre-planned procedures optional or if safe to do so. In the event of fire, the policy is as follows. First, do not use the elevators as it is not safe to do so and do not re-enter the building with fire until the fire warden or respective supervisory employee announces that it is safe to do so. After an emergency occurs, every employee should stay evacuated outside the building of fire and wait for authorities to evaluate the situation such as OSHA officer or the fire brigade to settle down the premise. Now moving on to the next one is the fall protection plan. In a dance studio, we have a vast floor that we need to constantly work on and there are a lot of suspended items such as speakers, lights and fans. These suspended items on the wall or at the ceiling might fall unexpectedly in the future and cause injuries in the workplace. These items should be supervised, maintained and serviced every month to ensure safety and reduce risk of people at the workplace or the premise of dance studio company. Now, if there is any or should any incident happen due to the fall of the suspended items, first aid response from employee training should be done primarily and calling the medical supervisor as soon as possible. Injuries due to slippery floors should be attended with medical attendees and an or first aid by employers that are trained. Other emergencies that may cause fall in the dance studio company will cause by slippery floors will cause such injuries such as a fracture or bleeding or any bruises that may cause serious injuries will be attended by first aid responses by trained employees as well. If, if the severity of the injury is high on scale, the person at risk will be sent to the hospital or will be called as emergency in the ER. Now, apart from physical hazards or physical injuries or physical emergencies, 
emotional and physiological risk may occur and it will leave a very very deep scar in people at work. Due to long hours of work, some employees or employers may experience fatigue or stress due to environmental or internal factors that they may not see it. So in this case, in the dance studio company, we implement a mental health observation day that will likely improve employees' productivity and work efficiency. So the first things first, in dance studio company, suggesting that all employees take the DAS test, which stands for the abbreviation D depression, anxiety, and stress scale to test every month to ensure employees' optimal state of well-being. It also provides an analysis of employees' anxiety, depression, or stress that contributes to absenteeism or fatigue or stress in the workplace. Now, if the scale of severity from emotional injuries is very high on scale, Dance Studio Company provides option of therapy for employees that needed the service. And finally, we provide taking opinions and addressing employees' concerns to enhance an open communication environment in the dance studio company to avoid any severe depression or anxiety in dance studio company. But in dance studio company, we take everyone's mental health, especially the employees, into account and concern for everyone at the workplace. For the therapy options, there are a lot of ranges that the employees can choose. For instance, they can either go to private sector or the government sector of mental health services. In this era of COVID-19, everything we do is virtually, so employees who seek online therapy can do either online counseling or online psychotherapy, which ranges from either private sector or NGO sector. All cost compensation and funding will be responsible by the dance studio company. So the next sector is the employee education. In dance studio company, several educational programs are implemented to increase employees' knowledge, awareness and methods to handle unforeseen situations that may occur in the future. Employee education in this presentation is divided into three main elements which are first, providing information, two, training programs, and three, supervision from employers. So the first one, training programs are provided for employees to increase their knowledge and awareness of workplace hazards and ways to handle them professionally. Programs provided in dance studio company included a first, self-learning program, on-the-job training, emergency workshops, general first aid certification, and mock prevention fire drills from Fire Brigade Company for the awareness program. The next one is the distribution of information graphics around the workplace to increase alertness and familiarity with types of hazards and risk and methods to handle them. Finally, a supervision approach is applied to increase the effectiveness of safety measures from employers to observe how the employees react and respond in times of emergency. Enforcing an evaluation of safety plan. As mentioned before, each individual at Down Studio Company has a responsibility to care for and protect each other. The responsibilities of each individual at the premise are delegated to increase the alertness of self-duty during times of crisis or emergency. Enforcing an evaluation plan ensures that every individual understands what needs to be carried out during an incident or emergency. As a reminder, mock prevention drills such as fire prevention drills will be carried out monthly to ensure the readiness of employees and employers' duties. In the occurrence of real emergency, all trained employees should apply their knowledge to handle their situation professionally. Supervisors, emergency wardens, and designated staff should observe the situation and analyze the outcome to dictate the effectiveness of the handling method. 
So in order to evaluate the effectiveness of the handling method, one should do an analysis or observation throughout the emergency. To enforce the safety plan orderly, hierarchy of hazard control should be applied to ensure effectiveness at the dance studio company. Elimination method is considered the most effective control as it fully removes the hazard or risk. For instance, in dance studio company, fully eliminating slippery floors that may cause injuries, slips or falls to a non-slip floor to remove the risk at dance studio academy. Next, substitution method is applied to change a condition if eliminating method may not be prosecuted. For instance, substituting cable-dependent speakers to wireless speakers to avoid electrical shock. Next, implementing administrative controls such as training and procedures provided to dance studio company's staff and managers to increase knowledge on how to handle mishaps or unforeseen emergency situations. For instance, providing first aid kit workshop certification, mock fire drills, and evacuation program. These programs are performed regularly such as monthly to ensure employees' familiarity of the procedures. In order to evaluate if the implemented safety plans and programs and processes are effective, the administrative or the managerial sector should do a monthly observation, a monthly supervision, and do a written document record of the method of handling and is it effective or not. So this we can know if the employees are performing in a good way, in a good performance, in a good quality, or vice versa. So the next one is the preparations and precautions of inevitable injuries. Now, inevitable injuries are incidents that are unforeseen and unavoidable in future. There are a lot of cases that injuries may not be prevented or may not be seen as custard before it may happen. For instance, natural disasters, global pandemics such as COVID-19, death and inflicted violence by other strangers. In dance studio company preparations and precautions that are taken are as follows. So the first one is dance studio company prepares a written company policies to protect ourselves and the employees at work. B. Implementing standard of procedures to handle global pandemic COVID-19. C. Insurance policies for employees and employers for compensation, insurance, and full pay will be given to employees that are conjured with unavoidable accidents. Standards of procedures applied such as wearing surgical face mask in the physical studio premise, thermometer scan is placed to check employee's temperature below 37.5 Celsius, 1 meter social distancing, and constant sanitization to prevent the spread of the virus at the workplace. So in this way, communication is very, very important and significant to ensure that everyone understands their own responsibility and duty with the monitoring of OSH compliance. Business recovery plan is also vital to ensure that the dance studio company could recover from any property damage, protection, of loss, or bankruptcy. A detailed checklist will be developed to assess the total damage, calculate the recovery, backup plans to compensate for the loss and how to be resilient in a pandemic crisis. For instance, due to inevitable COVID-19 pandemic, many businesses need to shut down as the government asked them to. To cope with this rapid change, Dance Studio Company will implement an online class alternative to support ongoing rent or facilities costs. In essence, applying safety plans in the workplace will contribute to a plethora of benefits, predominantly promoting a safer and healthier environment leads to a contented employee. Due to stresses and issues perceived and handled in professional way, 
It reduces the anxiety at the workplace that may occur in the future. The fear that is instilled in every employee is diminished. Therefore, the motivation will be heightened. Next, the benefit of a safety development plan is to improve employee job satisfaction and retention at the workplace. Providing attention and care to employee safety, be it physical or emotionally, will spark a sense of appreciation, belongingness, attachment, and high morale of employees. Therefore, employee will feel a high comfort level and improve productivity at the workplace. At last, improving work efficiency while producing a high quality of work in a safe and secure environment.